24 hours after the head of One Pulse Foundation announces her resignation, questions are mounting about what's next for that permanent Pulse Memorial. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gadsden. The city of Orlando pledged to build that permanent memorial after leaders purchased the Pulse nightclub property three weeks ago. So what's next? News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval went looking for answers. If you've driven by the Pulse nightclub lately, you may have been asking yourself, when is the permanent memorial going to be built here? National Pulse Memorial and Museum. We thought it was going to be built about five years ago. That's when the One Pulse Foundation announced a design firm. But nothing has changed. We need to do the right thing by these families today. Thank you. Now that she's been elected to Thank her seventh sure. term, Orlando City Commissioner Patty Sheehan says making a permanent memorial here is one of her biggest priorities. And she says that actually started when the city purchased this property from Pulse nightclub owner Barbara Poma. Between the time I went to city council and even the time for the closing on Friday, I was holding my breath. I didn't know if it was going to happen. But so, it happened. But it happened. So what's next? It's important for people to understand that this is a new start. Sheehan says that new start will begin with coming up with a new name for the project. Whatever it's called, she says the memorial will still be financed by donations and the money will likely be managed by the Orlando Community and Youth Trust. That is a nonprofit organization that supports the city's Parks and Recreation Department and other activities. Sheehan says she wants to create a committee also to help establish a game plan. And above all else, she says she wants to include the victims' families in the decision making. You know, there's, there's differences of opinion. Should we keep the building, should we not? Um, there's a building that's been sitting there for seven and a half years with holes in the side. I kind of doubt that it's going to be in any condition, but we'll have to, you know, like I say, we'll evaluate that. We want to know what you think about that. Should the building stay here or should it be demolished? Scan the QR code and let us know your thoughts on that. Now, the One Pulse Foundation, which was headed up by Barbara Poma, the owner of the nightclub here, spearheaded the efforts to build the permanent memorial. We looked at their tax records. They spent more than $7 million on design and construction costs. And as of today, no ground has been broken here for that. Maybe work with the One Pulse people as they phase out. I don't think they're going to have to be able to continue. I think they have to figure out what their role is going to be now because yeah. they're not doing the museum. They're not going to be doing the memorial. They need to figure out what their, what their next steps are going to be. Especially now that One Pulse Executive Director Deborah Bowie has resigned. A spokeswoman for the group's board says they're in the process of reevaluating their mission to align it with new realities. All right, so Eric joins us now live in studio. And Eric, we're talking a lot of money here, $7 yeah. million. Okay, so how much is the city going to have to raise for all of this again? That's a very good question. And we asked Sheehan, how much money are they going to have to raise? And she thinks, and when she thinks the memorial might be completed, Right now, she says it's really too early to tell on that. She says that she would like some of the donations to cover the cost of purchasing that Pulse property, $2 million. But she also wants to work with the mayor to get the nuts and bolts of this project started, and then they may have a better idea. This is all just beginning. I, I'm trying to hide my disgust. $7 million Don't. without even a lot of money. Uh, shoveling it, a really. pile of dirt. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have already donated tons of money to this memorial once. Is she nervous that people might be hesitant to donate to this second phase? Wouldn't, wouldn't you be? Uh, yes, I, I, I think would, a lot yeah. of people would be. You know, Sheehan says she already has people wanting to make donations, but she's asking them just to hold off just a little bit. You know, she, she wants your money to, to make course. this a reality, but they want to get the nuts and bolts again in place just to make sure this is done right. Incredible. That's the kind of city we live in, though. The people are already waiting and willing to donate yet again to it get this done. It does speak a lot for yeah, the people. It really does. It's taking so much time yep. and so much money, as you mm -hmm. just Thank you for out. staying on. Yeah, thank you of very course. much. Yeah.